We have seen before how we can send notifications from one task to another and we have also seen that um, we could count the number of notifications we have received. The value that uh, the, the value of the notification um, it was um, like a counting semaphore it just incremented or we could reset it but we couldn't really do much with that value we couldn't even read the value or um, or manipulate it to do different things but now we will look into how we can make use of the value of that notification and do different things with it and at the end i will also give, a, give an example where we can make use of the notification value to to do different things so uh, to give to send a notification uh, before i had used the function called x task notify give but now i'm going to use x task notify and this function has three parameters the first parameter will be the the handler of the task where i want to send the notification to the second parameter i will keep it zero for now and i will explain what the second parameter is later and the third parameter um, i will also explain more about it i'm going to keep it as no action now uh, what this basically means is i'm going to send a notification but i'm not doing anything with the value so this is why i have no action um, and i will send the notification every um, 1000 milliseconds and um, in my task queue uh, I'm going to get the notification so I use the function x task notify wait and um, the first two parameters I'm going to keep it at zero and I will also explain to you later uh, what these parameters are uh, and the notification value if I want to read it if I want to get the value I need to store it somewhere so I will create an integer so it's a 32-bit value so I will create a thir unsigned 32-bit integer and I will call it ul notified value and the third parameter will be pointer to this variable where I want to store the the value of the notification and uh, the fourth parameter will be the blocking time so i want to get port max delay and um, this function will return one or zero uh, if it gets a notification or not so i can use the if condition if equals to equals to one and this one i can just replace it with pd true because we know that pd true value is uh, one and i will printf notification receipt with the value which is ul notified value so let's run this program so it's getting notification value zero so it's saying notification received and the value is zero now this value if I look into the the description of this there are five different options that I have this parameter the, it's called the notify action I can have no action which means I'm not doing anything with the value and I can also have increment or setting the bits of that value let's go ahead and let's try the increment uh, so if I increment it the value is going to increment every time So it says notification receive one two and then three and it keeps incrementing so if you want to increment the value you can use e increment now if you want to set some bits of that of that value because that notification value is 32 bits so you can set some specific bits high or low so i want to set my 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 zero first and second bit high so i can do it in this way one shift left by two or one shift left by one or one shift left by zero i could i could also just write seven here um, but uh, i prefer writing it this way so this is going to oh yeah and i have to change this of course this is going to be e set bits because i'm setting those bits here so now i should get the value as seven
that the notification value received is 7. <coughs> now let me um, write this in a different way. Instead of sending 7, I want to send, I want to set each bit individually at a time. So I'm going to write this three times. So the first time the zeroth bit will be high, the second time the first bit is going to be high, and the third time the third bit. So what happens in this situation is, um, let's run the program. Let's clear this. Okay, so it receives one, three, and then seven. And then it keeps receiving seven because the first uh, the, the first notification it says it sets the zero bit high the second notification it sets the first bit high and then um, it sets the second bit high and then these three bits are already high so when it comes back um, and starts sending the notification trying to set the zero bit high it's already high so um, the values are not clear in that uh, register in the in that notification value so i need to do something to clear that value so there are two ways of doing this one is um every time i set the value instead of using e set bits i can do something i can use this value e set value with override so if i use this here Now this is going to set, um, this is going to override the value and then it will give me what I expect. So the first value that I, I expect will be 1, the second value I expect will be 2, and uh, 1 shift left by 2 is 4. So it should be 1, 2, and 4. So let's run the program and see. Okay, so I'm programming almost. Okay, so, so notification received is one, two, and four, and then it goes back to one, two, and then four again. So it is being cleared or it's being overwritten every time. Not cleared actually, it's overwritten. There is another way we could do this is um, if we instead of overwriting them, let's go back to the previous state. We rewrite this value. This is one. This is two. And this is four. So I'm going to set the bits, but rather than overwriting it, I'm going to clear them. So this parameter, this function, uh, x task notify wait, and I said that there are two parameters which I initially kept them at zero. Uh, these, this is going to take the value. The first parameter will be the masking to that to the notified value, notification value that I want to clear. Um, the first parameter will be I want to clear on entry to this function and this will be clearing on exit to the function so let's just clear them right when we enter this function here so I'm going to use the same masking one shift left by two or one shift left by one or one shift left by zero so it's going to clear these three bits so now even I just even me having e set bits I can still have the values clear so if I run this program so I get notification value 1 2 and then 4 it goes back to 1 2 and 4 so the values are being cleared every time Um, if you want to just set these, if you want to just clear these three bits, you can just use this masking technique. If you want to clear all the bits, you can just use f f f f f f f. So this will clear all the bits every time it gets a notification. Um, there is another thing that you can do um, is. You can you can do a query and find out 
the the task one can find out the value of uh, of this notified value uh, before sending a, another notification so before it sends a new notification it can find out what is the value of the previous uh, notification value so to do that i will take this outside here mm. sorry uh, i'll take it outside my infinite view and um so here the value is going to be one and here the value will be two and um here it's going to be four but let me not clear it because if i clear the value then uh, even if i'm doing a query uh, all i will get is a zero value so i will not clear anything let me leave it the way it, uh, the way it is and uh, the third time instead of using xtask notify i'm going to use xtask uh, notify and query and i need to use a third parameter here where i want to store the data so I, I have to create another variable I, I will give it the same name and the, this fourth parameter will be pointer to the variable okay so now um, it will set the um, to the value to one and then it will set the value to two let me do this um let me use override here yeah. so it says the value to one and then it says the value to two and the third time I'm I'm going to set the value to four but I'm also doing a query and this query will show me the last value which is going to be two it will do a query and then it will send the new notification with a new value we need to print this notification value so i will print here the last notification value was and i will print this dual notified value so let's run this program and see how it goes so I'm expecting it to give me a value of two because this was the last value that was set in that notification value uh, and this function x task notify inquiry it gets the value and then it sends a new notification or with a new value which is four so it's supposed to print that the last notification value was four so let's program the, the board and see how it goes So you can see it sends the three notification notification received one two one and four but it prints the last notification value was two so you can use this uh, query to find out what was the value of the previous notification value and then do something with it and then maybe decide on sending a new notification or not another uh, function that uh, you need to know is um to clear the state so let's say um, i'm sending I'll, i will get rid of these delays in between and uh, let me get rid of this as well so i will be sending three notifications and um sorry and um in my like before i send my third notification i'm going to clear the the state of the uh, of the notification so i use this function called x task notify state clear and the parameter will be the handler of the notification uh, task so this will um, clear my notification but you need to know that this will clear the pending status of the notification not the notification value which means uh, the notification value here was one and then this value is two and the third value that it, it should send is four but uh, you expect that this will clear the notification value uh, it will not uh, let's do this in a different way let me change this to e um, set bits so this will make things a bit more clear so the first notification should have one the second notification should have three because both the bits are set 
and the third notification will set the third the, the second bit high so it should be seven but um, if I clear the state the value will still be seven it's just that I will not be able to send a notification because the status of the notification the pending status is clear but the value is still there and uh, I will introduce a delay here just to make sure that uh, it doesn't receive the notification immediately I will put just 1000 uh, and I don't need this anymore so if I run this program now it says that notification received is 7 so even though I have cleared it uh, after setting my 0th and 1st bit and uh, when I send the third notification it just it's the notification value uh, it's triggered only once because I've cleared the pending status before and once it gets the trigger on the third time I send the notification it it is triggered and it prints the notification value but the value is not cleared it's still seven here so so these are some of the uh, functions and features of uh, the notification that you can use so let's go ahead and let's uh, do an actual program an example where we can make use of, of all these notification values so I will take them inside my finite loop and the delay um, between the notifications that I send and, um, and here I will clear all the notifications so and um, let me get rid of this as well now I know that um, I'm going to have uh, my three bits high one at a time so I can create another condition here if my notified value had my first or had my zero bit high which means and one shift left by zero if my notified value and one shift left by zero is one then I want it to do something so I want it to print uh, let's say red and I want to do the same thing for my first bit else if, uh, if the first bit is set high I want it to print uh, green and if my second bit is set high I want it to print blue so so let's run this program So there I can see yeah, it's printing the red, green and blue based on all the notification that it is receiving.